everyone, Tim from vMix here, and in this video today, we're going to be chatting about what computer and what parts are going to work best for vMix. As we get asked about computers a lot, we decided to put together some guides on our website with all the parts needed to build PCs for different live video productions. Now we call these vMix reference systems and you can find them by going to our website or you can just type in vmixpc.com to get redirected. Now if you're looking to build your own PC then it's super important to check out these reference systems. Now if you're not confident in building your own PC I'd recommend looking at our website at our resellers page. We have people that will be able to build you a great video production PC. Now is this video a giant URL redirect to our website? Probably. Okay, so now that all of that information is out of the way, did I mention that you can see exact system recommendations on our website or via vmixpc.com? Now we decided to build vmix as software and not an all-in-one hardware solution because we understand that people have different budgets and uses for live video production. Why spend all that money on hardware if you already have a computer that's going to work? Do you already have a computer? Then why not download our free trial and see how it handles vmix? That's going to give you a definitive answer and you won't need to email us back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back. Now we understand that you might not be able to afford to get a whole new live video production PC. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some important components that you might be able to upgrade or add to your existing system. Although vMix is built to be used with off the shelf consumer PCs and laptops, due to the nature of video processing, you may need something with just a little bit more power than a regular emailing laptop. So what I'm trying to say is, is that you might not have the best experience with, with trying to use a 10 year old netbook or something like that for vMix. That's why we have the trial so you can fully test out your equipment before purchasing. Most important thing first, your graphics card. vMix heavily utilizes your graphics card for video processing and encoding so that it's more reliable and has less strain on your CPU. So if you're looking for the best vMix performance, a dedicated graphics card is a must. We recommend Nvidia cards as they offer powerful encoding chips and great video processing power. What card should you get? Although the Nvidia GeForce cards have had encoder chips on them for many years now, uh, we recommend going with a 10 series or newer. Newer cards will have the advantage of having more powerful encoding chips and more RAM. More RAM will aid in other areas of your vMix production such as GT titles. Most newer generation GPUs will have at least three gigabytes of RAM on them, but if you're looking to use a lot of images, videos, and GT titles in your production, then the more RAM, the better. There's usually six gigabyte plus variations of most cards, and they're not that much more expensive. There are many brands that sell NVIDIA-based graphics cards, and their quality can vary, so it's always good to check out reviews and compare the different features of the brands of cards. They shouldn't vary too much, but it's better to buy a reputable brand of card like Gigabyte, Asus, EVGA, than to buy a brand that you've never heard of off eBay or AliExpress. Sure, they're probably gonna be cheaper, but they could very well be a potato painted black with a couple of glued on fans and three gigabytes of ham. We've had pretty good luck with Gigabyte cards, so we usually add those to our builds, but the choice is totally up to you. You may also have heard of Quadro cards around the place, which are Nvidia's workstation graphics cards. They do offer more hardware encodes on them, but they're much more expensive than the equivalent GeForce cards. So for the same price, you'll get a much more powerful GeForce Nvidia card that will work great for live video production. However, if you do plan on doing a lot of workstation CAD work on that computer or want a larger number of encodes, then a Quadro card might be for you. Now I'll include a link in the description to the Nvidia card matrix, and that will display all of their GPUs and what they can do. As new cards are being released on a seemingly daily basis, check out our reference systems page to see what cards we're currently recommending. So the next most important thing is having a good CPU. So that's important for building a vMix PC. With most things, it's pretty hard to recommend a specific chip without knowing exactly what you plan on doing in your production. For example, if you have a small production with a camera, some video files and some titles, then you could easily use something like an Intel i5 chip. However, if you want to use a lot of video files, NDI, video calls, replay, you're going to need something with a little bit more power, like an i7, an i9, or perhaps a Gen 3 Ryzen or Threadripper or newer. Now, we always like to err on the side of more power. 
as we've noticed that productions tend to get bigger and more elaborate over time rather than being scaled down. You don't typically have a client say, hey, can we get rid of three cameras? Usually it's, oh, we need three more cameras in this production. Oh, and replay, can you do that for me? In the past, we've solely recommended Intel CPUs for our reference systems. But since the rise in generation three chips, AMD have increased their abilities in the necessary areas needed for good live video productions with vMix. Now our current Opal reference system as of 2020 for HD production actually uses a Ryzen chip. So again, check out our reference systems page for the best chips to be using. Now we tend to get asked whether it's better to have more cores or threads or higher clock speed. And we usually recommend higher clock speed. So as another quick reminder, don't forget to check out our reference systems page for what we're currently recommending as it changes very quickly. Now, if you are looking to save a little bit of money, you may even be able to pick up a previous generation chip for cheaper when they release a new generation. Now they tend not to change too much in a single generation, say from a ninth gen to a 10th gen Intel chip, but definitely don't go back to a fourth generation chip, which might be 10 years old. One of the biggest things that trips people up when building a production PC are motherboards. The big thing here is the requirement that you need with live production to use one or more capture cards. So that means you'll typically need more PCI Express slots and lanes than a typical PC user. We receive emails from people all the time asking why their capture cards won't work and why their camera's coming through weird. And most of the time it's due to the lack of the PCI Express lanes or the placement of the cards in the wrong slots. Quite often you need to read the fine print of your motherboard manual to determine exactly how many PCI Express lanes you have. Sometimes you'll have motherboards that claim a certain number of lanes per slot, but it's not actually correct as they're shared with peripherals as well. Unfortunately, there has been a recent trend to skimp out on PCI Express slots and lanes as most people don't need them. So it's becoming harder to find necessary motherboards. So that's why we have very specific ones listed on our website. And to be honest, sometimes those will be replaced the week after we put them up there. So if they're not available on our website, please email us so we can tell you a replacement one. Now there probably isn't as much emphasis on RAM with vMix as the other components such as a CPU and a GPU. Most of our reference systems only use 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now this is a situation where you may want to increase the amount of RAM you've got if you're putting your vMix PC to use for other projects. For example, if you're going to be doing video editing on them, you might want to increase the amount of RAM. Now one important thing to consider with RAM is that you want to use all the available channels on your motherboard. So if your motherboard offers four channels, then using four sticks of RAM will optimize your ability to get the most out of your RAM. For vMix, we recommend that you use SSDs for your vMix PC. Basic recording could use high-speed platter drives, but SSDs are going to be absolutely essential for things like multi-quarter and instant replay. Now using M.2 drives are probably ideal if you can organize them, but SATA SSD drives will also do the trick. The capture device that you will use in your vMix PC will depend on what kind of production and equipment that you have. We have plenty of videos talking about different cards on our YouTube channel. And if you want to know what we support, please see the supported capture hardware page on our website. It's going to depend on how many cameras, what connectors your camera have, uh, your budget, your PCI lanes, and whether you want internal or external. So there's a lot of things to consider when it comes to capture cards. So if you want some information about laptops, we have information on our reference systems page, believe it or not with considerations for different laptops and what you might need. So it's very similar to a PC. You're going to need a good CPU and a dedicated graphics card, along with some other laptop specific things that you might need to consider, such as Thunderbolt and G-Sync. So that's a really generalized look at some different hardware components for use with vMix. It's a very quick overview, but hopefully it's given you some ideas about ways you might be able to upgrade your current system. So as you can tell by the order of the video, we heavily emphasize having a dedicated graphics card. So if you want a rock solid vMix production, check out our website and get a good dedicated graphics card. Computer hardware changes pretty consistently. So if you're going to be building or improving your setup, please look at our website. Now I should have just looped myself saying that for 10 minutes. Just please look, just at, our please look at our just website. Just please look at our website. Just please look at our Again, if you don't want to do the work, feel free to contact one of our system building resellers 
that will build you exactly what you need and help you out. Now, there are also a couple of other companies that will build all-in-one portable vMix PCs as well. So you can Google those to check those out. If you have any questions about hardware and vMix, please send us through an email via the support page on vmix.com. Now, any questions here will probably just get a can reply from me saying, please email us. K, thanks, bye. Uh, and to save time for both of us, um, please download the trial and see how your computer handles it. It's so much easier if you try it out with all of your equipment than sending emails back and forth and back and forth. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. For Beaminx, bah. Now our current Opal reference, uh, nope, that doesn't make any sense. Most important thing first, or MIF, MITF, MITF, is that a thing?